Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and welcome to another G-Vlog. Today, I'm gonna disassemble another Casio Baby G watch. So, straight away, this is the watch band with satin layer on top, dark blue, really gorgeous in my opinion. The bottom part came with this synthetic leather, the band keeper is stainless steel with Casio buckle sign at the bottom and that's it's all for the watch band, very simple and tapered and slim as well. So this is the watch body, brush finish at the front, well not really brush, so like a matte and the gloss side will be at the sides and also at the top which is pretty gorgeous, making the watch looks very beautiful for a girl type of watch in my opinion. So now I'm gonna need to remove the adapter on the watch with a metallic grey finishing I believe, so it makes the watch looks tough. For a baby G model, this is pretty impressive, it does remind me of the ones on a G-Shock watch which I already reviewed a few months back. So now I'm gonna need to remove the four screws that's locking the back plate. Okay, with that out of the way, as you can see now, we are gonna have a look at 2359 engine BG20. Really short reference number, the back plate on this watch feels a little bit lighter, but it still feels solid. So this is how the interior looks like, which is impressive. It really reminds me on one of those uh, Frogman model with a screw down case back type of build. It has similar design of the interior, so really really impressive with this type of construction now. And as you can see, there's this back cushion, which only came in this round shape and have all those uh, cushioning points at the top and the rest are just emptied out. And next is, I'm gonna need to remove this O-ring as well, so nothing much to see over here, very simple O-ring. And next thing is, I think I should remove the, uh, the bull bar on this watch because I believe that is all that we have. There are no screws at all on the side, so the bull bar is the only thing that is holding the bezel into place, guys. So that's very simple construction. No wonder this watch is weaker than G-Shock watch, despite being made out of metal at some parts. So that's pretty interesting, though. And look at that, I just... Remove it like that, no screws at all that's holding onto place, baby G on top and as you guys can see, this is resin or plastic layer at the bottom, the upper part is metal and I think I could remove this resin layer though if I just press it like that, it seems like it's just a clip from the downside to the metal part of the watch. Just force it out a little bit, be careful if you are doing this. Although I wouldn't worry as much, I mean this watch looks really tough to me, it didn't feel sticky, it feels pretty solid though, look at this metal parts, very very solid build, despite looking very thin, I didn't think it, you will be able to bend it as easily, unlike when you're bending this resin layer of the bezel, which is interesting, it's almost remind me like the uh, layered resin type of construction on the G-Steel model. So this is the hard case of the watch, which feels pretty cheap. I gotta be honest with that, I've been disassembled a lot of watches before and this one in particular really feels different. The plastic material that they use to make the hard case just feel a little bit, I don't know how, it just feels a little bit cheaper than the one on the G-Shock watch or on some baby G model that I disassembled on this channel before. And now I'm gonna need to remove this plastic part that is holding the engine into place and there it is. So this is what support the engine or parts that's holding the uh, movement in there from moving here and there, you know. So this is it. Plastic part feels very solid and there has this black sponge at the back. I'm guessing this is for shock absorbent as well. So that's it. Look at that, a really huge baby G watch but the engine itself is really, really small. I don't know what to say about this man. This is very non G-Shock like at all. This is... I could accept this on a baby G but I couldn't accept this on a G-Shock. So luckily this is not a G-Shock watch, so yeah. As you guys can see, we have Castle Japan sign at the bottom of the engine. I'll show you guys the detail after this, but for now I'm gonna need to remove the crown on the watch, which is uh, marked with a push uh, but push uh, stem on the part of the metal back plate. So now just remove the battery. Next is just push this tiny little, sort of like a switch, I believe, just push it in. They have some dots on top of there gonna be pretty hard to see actually but all you need to do is just press using a needle and the crown of the wash will be removed 
for right away just like that and yeah I gotta say that the structure of the crown shaft on this model is really impressive it has a lot of details something that I didn't expect on a watch like this seeing all the parts so far didn't really impress me but this crown in particular really really nice as you can see we have two o-ring for the water resistance of this watch I mean that's won't do as much but then again this watch is only 10 bar 100 meter water resistance so I can expect much out of this I mean it's not as tough anyway so that's that's it and now I'm gonna need to remove the engine out of the way now I'm gonna be very careful because this watch does have three hands on top of there very beautiful watch face this is I believe the best part of this entire video I believe look at how gorgeous the face plate is almost like sunburst effect on the side square pattern in the middle skeleton hour and the minute hand glossy finish index a date window also came in glossy so very beautiful this is just very very beautiful in my opinion and looking at it from the size now the engine itself is really slim and tiny so there's really not a lot of things that are special on this watch except the construction of the watch fit from all the things that i've seen so far this watch it's just uh, about the, the appearance. This is all about appearance though. The exterior, if you look at the watch from the inside, I mean it is an impressive model for Casio. They have the sort of build quality in it. It is pretty much different from the rest of the baby G that I've seen so far, but definitely different from a G-Shock watch. So that's, I mean that's it that I could say about this watch. I don't, I don't know much about this model in particular. So this is all of them up close. So here is the watch band again. That's the adapter. We have the back plate, the metal cover or bezel, resin bezel, o-ring, uh, engine holder, and this is the hard case again. I think I almost forgot to show you guys the uh, the support uh, structure in the interior. This is the shock absorbent support with the uh, side cushion in black and metal frame as well to hold the engine into place or to support the bezel to make it a little bit more tougher the rest are just basic there are no buttons at all on this watch guys just a single crown on the sides that's it the glass is mineral as always and there's the index sits on there i couldn't remove that without removing the glass from the front so i guess that is all now i'm gonna need to swap the battery and hoping it will work again i'm gonna need to assemble it all back and I hope you guys found this video a little bit useful, informative, and entertaining as well. For your future reference, leave a like if this video does help you though. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. This is G-Shock Fashion Channel. And I'll...